6. Now, see, we could verify our answer by remembering, hey, if we want to figure out what 7 times 8 is, we think 7 times 10 is 70, and we take away two sevens, that gives us the 56. So try, you got to practice this. This is an introduction, you got to practice. Now, if 7 times 10 is 70, how do we figure out 7? If 7 times 10 is 70, 7 times 11 is what, Charlie? Add 7. 77, you just add another 7, right? And if we want 7 times 12, we're going to take 7 times 10, which is 70, and we're going to add two more 7s, which is 70 plus 14. So what's 7 times 12, Charlie? 84? 84. So we're just looking at patterns here, because we're trying to learn our multiplication tables here. All right, now, 8 times 7, that always gives students a problem for some reason, okay? So let's think about what this means. What we're going to do is we're going to bust out some more kung fu. Watch. 8 times 7 means you have 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, right? Seven of them being added together. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to realize, hey, most people remember that 8 times 5 is what, Charlie? 40, 40. If you add five eights together, that's 40. Now, what's 8 plus 8, Charlie? 16. 16, right? And so here, we're looking at 8 times 7 as simply being 40 plus 16, which is 56. Because 8 times 5 is 40, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So it's like 8 times 5 times 8 times 2, something like that. Okay. However you look at this, there's different ways of doing this too. It's 56. Now how about 11 times 12? That's another one that gives people a problem. Well, let's think of it this way. Remember, 11 times 12 means you have 12 of these 11s all being added together. Well, what happens if we add 10 of the 11s together? Charlie, what's 11 times 10? 110. That's 110, right? And if 10 of the 11s add up to 110, and we have two more 11s, how much is 11 plus 11? 22. 22, very nice. And if we add all this together, 110 plus 22 is what? 132. 132. Very nice there, Charlie. So, 11 times 12 is 132. Now, some people when they're asked, hey, what's 11 times 12? For whatever reason, they remember 12 times 11, or they use one of those shortcut moves. Well, let's demonstrate this. With addition, we have 12 times 11. What does it mean? It means you have 11 of these 12s all being added together. Well, remember, if you have 10 of these 12s being added together, which is 12 times 10, that is 120, right? And if we have an extra 12, all we gotta do is take 120 and add another 12, and what do we get there? 132. 132. Very nice there, Charlie. So, you see, we're just doing additions to get these multiplications, right? All right. Let's go on here. Now, don't get scared, Charlie. We're going to jump to some big numbers here. Don't get squared. 23 times 11. All right. Well, a person with good kung fu is going to think, oh, 23 times 10, I can do that one. That's just 230, right? Remember, you just add the zero. 23 times 10 is 230. You can, it's 23 plus 23. There's 10 of them all added together to give you 230. Now, 23 times 11, Charlie. What do we have to do to figure out 23 times 11 if 23 times 10 is 230? Add 23? You just got to add another 23 to the 230. And so 23 times 11 is what, Charlie? 2, 4. Okay, sometimes that gives people a problem. So what we're going to do here is we're going to demonstrate addition on a number line. Watch. We're trying to do at this point 230 plus 23. Now watch. 230, we're going to add 23. Well, we're going to break up 23 into expanded form. Watch. 23 is 10 plus 10 plus 3. So watch what happens, Charlie. 230, we're going to add 23. So we first add 10, right? What does that give us? 240. 240, then you take a break. <sighs> okay, we add another 10. What do we get, Charlie? 250. 250, take another break. Okay, how many more do we got? Three. Three more, and we ended up where? 253. 253, and so 23 times 11 is 253. There we go. All right, now, suppose we wanted to know what's 23 times 12. Again, Charlie, 
if we know 23 times 10 is 230, then 23 times 12 is 230, plus two more of the 23s, now 23, and 23 is 46, right? So all we have to do here now is take 230, which is 23 times 10, and we're going to add the 46. But again, we'll use the expanded form of 46 in this manner. 230 plus 10 is 240, plus 10 more is 250, plus 10 more is 260, plus 10 more is 270. So there's 230 plus 40, but remember, we're trying to add this 46, so we need to add 6 more. So what do we get, Charlie? 276. 276, very nice. So that's 23 times 12. Yes, and a lot of you are saying, I know, are saying, hey, I can just use this vertical format and do it. Yeah, we'll talk about that vertical format later. Right now, we're trying to kung fu these things. Now, let's do this one. 23 times 9. Okay, so here we go. Remember, 23 times 10 is 230. So how do we figure out 23 times 9, Charlie? Subtract 23. Take away a 23, right? So it's a subtraction problem. See? 23 times 9. A person with good kung fu sees it as a subtraction problem. They see it as 230 take away 23, right? Because 23 times 10 was 230. Okay, now, how do we subtract 23 from 230? Well, let's demonstrate it on a number line here. 230. Now, which way do we move? We're subtracting, Charlie. To the, to left. the left. That's right. We've got to move 23 times. So we'll go in steps, right? We'll first subtract 10. What does that give us? 220. 220. Okay, subtract 10 more. 210. 210. And we still got to subtract what? Three more. Three more. So what do we get, Charlie? 207. 207. So see, we subtracted 23 in steps. We went 10, 10, and then 3. And our answer is 207. So 23 times 9 is 207. Okay, so there we go. So that was our introduction to multiplication, right? So realize here, when you're trying to learn your multiplication tables, look at your table and see that you have numbers being added when you go to the right, and when you go to the left, it's being subtracted, or however your table was given. Sometimes they're up and down. But anyway, look at that pattern in your multiplication table, and it'll help you learn your multiplication tables. Anyway, we got to go. we got to do some more multiplication very soon here. So we'll see you all again soon.